You read books, listen to podcasts, and watch YouTube videos, all while thinking you're learning only to forget them when you're on to the next new information. The illusion of learning happens to the best of us, but some of the most prolific thinkers in history have avoided this by taking notes in a way that we call smart notes. Leonardo da Vinci, Nicholas Luhmann, and Bill Gates maintained personal notes where they not only stored information but actively engaged with it. Instead of trying to remember the new piece of information, they make it a part of their intellectual dialogue by comparing new insights with existing knowledge. Several months ago, I noticed this problem. Since then, I've been improving my note-taking system in Notion, and a key resource in this process has been the book How to Take Smart Notes by Songka Aarons. So in this video, I'll share 5 tips to help you take smart notes, plus a bonus tip at the end for my fellow Notion users. And if you want the exact system that I'll be showing in this video, you can check out the free Notion template link in the description below. Let's start off by looking at what is a smart note. A TLDR of a smart note is that it is atomic, in your own words, connected, and safe for action. Atomic refers to the encapsulation of a single complete idea. In your own words means the idea should be interpreted and expressed uniquely by you. Connected being you have linked this new insight to your existing knowledge. Safe for action means you have organized your notes to surface up when working on relevant projects and goals. The first tip is to separate the type of notes that you take. This is where we can look to the Jettacaston method by Nicholas Luhmann, who had published over 70 books and hundreds of articles in his lifetime. Luhmann categorized his notes into three types, fleeting, literature, and permanent. But what's the difference between them? Flitting notes are like shower thoughts and random ideas that come out throughout your day. Literature notes are the takeaways from the things we consume. These include articles, videos, lectures, and even movies. Permanent notes are what you turn flitting and literature notes into once you have reviewed them against your existing notes and knowledge. They are what we call smart notes, and hence should bear the characteristic as mentioned before, which are atomic, in our own words, connected, and safe for action. In the Jettacaster method, Lumen kept different boxes for each type of note. Fortunately, our note-taking system in Notion is much more streamlined, where we'll be using just one database to keep all types of notes. Hence, to differentiate our notes, we have a type property, which allows us to categorize each note under fleeting, literature, or permanent. And to further distinguish each type of note, I've given them each a different icon, and I can apply the relevant template to fill the new page with the respective icon. In your day-to-day, -day, you might want to quickly draw down the note without caring what type of note it is. In this case, you can use the shortcut Command N to create a new page, and after you have written down your note, you can use the shortcut Command Shift P to move this note to the respective database. When you have the time to review your note, you can then apply the page template to categorize it under fleeting, literature, or permanent. I can also do something similar on mobile, where I can use the plus icon on the bottom right corner to create a new page to join out the notes first, and then I can move this note to my notes database after. But if you already know what type of note you are taking, you can actually make this a quick one-click process. We do this with buttons, which allows us to click on the respective type of note button, which opens up the new page with the type already filled in, and we can start writing our note from there. The benefit of this button is that it can be placed anywhere on your page, and also on any pages. So if you already have a main Notion dashboard that you use every day, like a second brain, you can copy-paste the buttons here to your second brain page. And now that you know how to capture the different types of notes, you might be wondering how to turn your flitting or literature notes into permanent notes. This brings us to the second tip. Don't create your own Google. You should not be taking notes to create your own personal Google because you already have it at your disposal. What you should be creating should be an interconnected web of your thinking. And therefore, taking permanent notes involves formulating your own ideas, arguments, and truth. The first step to writing permanent notes is to review what you already know. When it comes to reviewing my literature notes, I first convert the extracted sentences into a code block and apply a lighter color to it. This allows me to focus on writing my own ideas and understanding above. This process is meant to be mentally challenging, but it is also what makes your notes more meaningful and stick with you. Once done, I formulate the title based on my written content and in my own words. To update the page icon, I cut out the page content, apply the permanent page template, and paste back the page content. Lastly, I will then update the type property. It seems like quite a few steps here, but trust me, once you get used to it, you won't be as hard as it seems. As you may have saw earlier, the gallery view lets you preview your notes. This makes it less troublesome than having to open each note page by page. Moreover, placing our diverse notes and ideas side by side, without being confined to their topics, allows us to discover similarities and differences that were not apparent before. But what do you do when you find this connection? This brings us to tip number 3. Connect what you already know. Making a connection between your notes is simple. We just click on every later notes to search for the title of another note and click on it to create a two-way relation. This means if I were to open up the other note, I will be able to see the note that is related to. When you actively link your notes to each other, they form a web of knowledge. 
When you're working on a new project and you pull in a related node, you're not just getting that single piece of information, you're also bringing in all the other nodes that it's connected to. This network of nodes can provide additional insights, context or questions that can enrich your understanding of this project. Now that you know how to connect your notes, I'll show you how to take it a step further. I'm going to show you how to create a gallery view inside a notes page to preview all its related notes. First, copy the link of any notes database and then navigate to the permanent note database template. I will only be doing this for our permanent notes because this is where we want to see our connected thoughts and ideas. On the template page, we will paste the link to create a link view of the notes database. I will rename the view to simply be gallery and remove the custom icon. Feel free to be creative here. But most importantly, you want to go to filter and add a filter for the related notes relation. And select the name of this template that is permanent. Now if I were to go back to an existing permanent note of mine, I can first cut out my notes on the page body and then reapply the page template. And then paste to put back my notes below the gallery view. Since we now have the gallery view to see and preview our connected notes, we can go back to our related notes property above and add it to show it as minimal instead. The reason why I did not include this gallery view by default is that I know that this is not something all would appreciate equally, as it does clutter up the actual note of this page. If you're here, let me know in the comments what you think of this idea. I love to hear them. And now that we know how to connect our notes, it brings me to the most impactful tip I learned from reading the book Beating the Second Brain by Tiago Forte, which is safe for action. Instead of asking where this note should go, ask how it could be used. It's the application of knowledge that turns it into power. This is what we mean by saving for action. Imagine this, the next time you sit down to work on your projects and goals, you're instantly greeted with all the relevant ideas and information you once saved. No more digging through piles of notes or endless internet search. It's all right there, ready for what you're working on. I'll show you step by step how you can set this up by connecting your notes database to your project database. First, we'll open up any page in our notes database, review the hidden properties and click on add a property. The type of property we'll be adding is the relation property. This is the same property that allows us to connect related notes. But in this case, we are connecting our notes to a different database that is our projects. So you just have to search for your projects database and select it. From here, turn on show on projects and make this a two-way relation so that you can see this related note from your project page. To keep everything on theme, I would add an icon to this property to match that of my project database. And with that, I can now click on the fill of this property and browse through my projects for relevant ones or search for one to make a connection to this node. Lastly, I will choose to show this property as minimal to reduce the clutter on this page. Now we want to update the property that has been added on the other hand to our project database. We can open up any project page and we will see the newly added property. I will first do the same by giving it an icon that matches my notes database. But what would actually be helpful here is to show this property as a page section. After we have done so, we can click on the three dots on the far right to show our height properties of the note page that is related to this project. And now, the next time you open up your project page, you can see all the related notes and use your existing ideas and notes to get started. If you're using my second brain template, you won't have to set any of this up. All the necessary relations have been made and there are page templates to populate the link database views. If you're interested in turning your notion into a complete second brain system, I will also link the template in the description below. Coming back to our approach to save for action, it is how we can prime ourselves to prioritize the application of knowledge over the mere collection of information. This shift does not happen overnight, especially since most of us have been taught the traditional way of organizing information by topics or alphabetical order, whether in school or in our workplace. Change takes time and this leads me to the fifth and most important tip. Don't rush the process. When we learn or adopt a new system, we often rush to fix what already has been done to be fitting with our new way of doing things. Instead, we should lean towards the just-in-time strategy in which Toyota used to revolutionize the manufacturing process. In essence, we should make changes only as needed, instead of doing more than necessary. Focus on the notes you are currently working on and the new ones you create from today. There is no need for a perfect system on day one. In fact, there's no such thing as a perfect system. Now we have come to the bonus tip for note taking in Notion. As the volume of our notes grows, searching for and making a connection to a particular note might get trickier. To make life easier, I'd like to introduce you to the ID property. To add the ID property, we'll open up any notes page, show all the properties and click on add a property and then search for ID. For easier referencing, I'll add a literal prefix called note and once added, you will give all existing pages and newly created page a unique ID. Say you are reviewing your existing notes and discover one that connects well with another note. Simply copy the ID on this notes page and then head over to the note you want to make a link to. Click on add related notes and paste the ID. 
The relevant page will pop out right at the top for you to select it easily. We can also use this ID in the main search window, so when you need to review a particular node, just put this ID on the search bar and it will direct you to the right page. I hope this video has inspired you to start taking smarter notes, and if you're interested in trying this notion note taking system, head over to the description below to check out my templates. Thanks for watching.